During the era when you could not buy a metal record almost or couldn't go see a metal show and it was all about the post-Nirvana like grunge movement or whatever, you could still see Pantera, you could still buy a Pantera record and get thrash metal. They showed that people still wanted to hear heavy stuff because they were going platinum at a time when you, like, you couldn't say metal. There was no metal being exposed anywhere. Metal was supposedly dead. And metal was Nirvana. Yeah, and they're, and they're topping the Billboard charts and going platinum. When it became very obvious and very clear that there was just a handful of bands that were going to be delivering heavy music anymore, you know, people clung pretty tightly to us. Phil and Selma just joined their band and they were coming out of this kind of their Van Halen club band, you know, guitar shredder thing that Daryl was doing. We had a guitar hero who is still a guitar hero to this day. Uh, insanely tight unique rhythm section the lead singer with no guitar binding him down just freestyle lead singing they were really morphing into what Metallica was doing and what the thrash metal thing that was going on at the time they were heavy they were thrash they were metal they came across as it they came there they projected off the stage that vibe of you know we're gonna stomp your face in if you get too close totally influenced by Slayer and Venom and Possessed and you know Metallica and all those type of bands and they really really flew the flag for thrash metal uh, throughout the 90s. By you know the early 90s they put out Cowboys from Hell and the Vulgar Display of Power and then they picked up and clearly led the charge. You put in Vulgar Display, actually you can put in Cowboys from Hell and it's just like you know you listen to that record and you're like wow. <laughs> it just like strikes me every time I listen to it. They, uh, they made metal cool again. <laughs> so why <laughs> they, they did? And they brought the groove, you know, which was something that was going on in the hardcore scene at the time, but you know, most metal uh, wasn't grooving like that, and they just brought that groove to metal, and that changed the whole game, which is still felt today. I mean, most metal has groove. You couldn't help but bob your head to some of their oh, yeah, they were like, oh bad. my god, it's they so had heavy. They groove in their music, and I think Amazing that's musicians. Made a good band. They're such an obvious band, it's like Metallica, you know. They've done so much shit, sold so many albums, and like, done so much good for metal, it's pointless to even point out anything more. It's like, they were the shit when they came out, that's it.